Hey guys, welcome back to another devlog. I've been super busy these past two weeks. I had to skip one of the devlogs as I got really sick and I started to work full time as well. So I did not really have a lot of time to do stuff this week. Anyway, this week I tried to put all of my attention into starting and creating new enemy AI. As you remember, before, uh, the enemies would just stand there and do absolutely nothing. So I decided to make different actions or different states that the enemies would cycle through. Okay, so I made few starting states. Each enemy will begin with a roaming state, which is basically just a state that tells the enemy to move from one point to another. So for now, as you can see, the enemy is moving to one point, then the enemy stops for a while, and after a few seconds, the enemy moves to the next point and cycle repeats itself. This makes the enemy feel like it's part of the environment and part of the game, instead of just standing there and doing nothing. Okay, so after this was implemented, I moved on to another state called interacting, or interacting with the player. Basically, this state is used whenever the player is interacting with the pet. If you remember, in the previous devlog, I mentioned that I would like to do some kind of an enemy inspection system. So now, whenever the player approaches an enemy pet, an icon appears above the enemy's head. And if the player presses the interaction button, a new NPC chat box appears with some text. The text basically lists all the different stats that the particular enemy pet has. Like the value of its health, different attack damages, defense and so on. I haven't implemented what happens next, but basically the player will have a choice between fighting the enemy pet or just moving away from the pet. Oh, and if you did not notice, I improved the text box text system as well. So now the text is slowly shown or is typed instead of just appearing all at once. Even though the things I did were quite small, but in the long term I think these features will be very useful. Anyways, as usual, be sure to follow my Twitter, Instagram, and join my Discord server. Link is in the description. I will try to do more work next week. It really depends on how much time I have. As usual, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next devlog.